Ask yourself, what do you really know about Jesus? Jesus' whole life was written in prophecy before he was even born. His birth, his life, his death, his ascension. Pretty much everyone has an opinion on who Jesus is. They've seen pictures, they've heard sermons, and they've also seen movies. But what does the Bible have to say about that? Better yet, let's look at what the Bible says Jesus is not. He is not Lucifer's brother, born of father and mother God Mary, the natural son of Joseph, married with children, or just a prophet. Some people would have you to believe that Father God and Mother God Mary had children, Jesus and Lucifer. Nothing could be further from the truth. Lucifer was an angel, which is part of God's creation. The Bible lets us know that Jesus pre-existed as the Word, and all things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. Mary was a chosen vessel to bring forth the Messiah. She does not possess the characteristics of God. Joseph was going to put Mary away privately to keep her from being stoned. But Joseph had an angelic visitation while he slept, confirming that this immaculate conception was of God. Mary of Magdala, better known as Mary Magdalene, enters the Bible as a woman possessed with seven demonic spirits and a known prostitute. After her deliverance, she immediately becomes a lifelong follower of Christ, witnessing her brother's death and resurrection. She washed Jesus' feet with her hair, ointment, and tears. She was there for his crucifixion and his resurrection. She was such a close follower that some accused her and Jesus of being married with children. Jesus was a child prodigy. At 12 years old, he astounded his teachers and instructors with his knowledge and authority of the scriptures. As he grew in wisdom and stature, he taught God's word as a prophet. As high priest, he sacrificed himself as the Lamb of God for the people. He's our soon coming king as heir to the throne of David. Over a hundred names have been given to Jesus that attest to his authority and character. Jesus is the Lamb of God slain from the foundation of the world, but he is also the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Jesus told a group of inquisitive Jews, before Abraham was, I am. Moses asked El Shaddai, the God of the Israelite, who should I tell Pharaoh hath sent me? And God replied, I am. Those two little words encompassed all that God was, and all that he is, and all that he will become. He is the great creator, provider, healer, and deliverer. And they picked up stones to stone Jesus. And he asked them, For what work do you stone me for? And they said, It's not for the works, but you, being a man, make yourself to be God. Jesus asked his disciples, Whom do men say that I am? One said, John the Baptist, for he was a great preacher. Another said, Elijah, because of how he handled the false prophets. Another said, Jeremiah, because of his compassion for the people. Someone said, one of the prophets. Then Jesus said, but whom say ye that I am? And Peter said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus said, flesh and blood has not revealed this unto you, but my Father in heaven. And upon this rock I'll build my church. The Son of God became a man to enable men to become sons of God. People struggle with the idea of man becoming God. And rightly so, because the truth of the matter is, God became man. See, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. Animals only allowed sin to be rolled away for a year, but that which was perfect had to come to take away sin once and for all. Society has tried to condition us to believe a lie rather than to believe the truth. People knew there was something different about Jesus. They came to expect a miracle like turning water into wine. As a man, he hungered and thirsted as he was tempted in the wilderness. But as God, he fed the multitudes. As a man, he traveled by land and by sea. But as God, he calmed the raging sea and walked upon the waters. As a man, Jesus died on Calvary's cross for you and for me. 
But as God, he took the keys of death, hell, and the grave and rose with all power in his hand. Jesus performed so many marvelous miracles that they wondered, what manner of man is this? Jesus says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. With all the evidence, it becomes very easy to say that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself.